Yeah, you know, I never had, this sounds crazy, and I know this is against the norm, but I never had long-term goals. Mm -hmm. um, I think they can get you in trouble a little bit because, you know, you're, you're focused more on the destination as opposed to the journey. And I've always been under the belief that, um, you know, if you really stay true to who you are, really work hard at figuring out who you are, what your gifts are, your talents, what you're passionate about, figuring out your purpose, um, which is a tough exercise, but mm -hmm. that's where I would start and stay. Mm -hmm. Once you know that about yourself, like what your strengths are, your weaknesses, your passions, your gifts, and are unapologetic about your strengths and your weaknesses and your purpose in life, then I think it helps give you like a roadmap that you take one step at a time. Um, and then you'll end up where you're supposed to end up. Like for example, I never had plans to play professional basketball. It, it didn't even exist. I didn't even have plans on playing college basketball. Right. But I was loving playing in middle school. I was loving <laughs> playing in, in high school. And I just was loving it every day and trying to be the best I could be every day. And then that one thing led to the next, led to the next, led to the next. But if it hadn't, I would have had no regrets because I knew I would have known that I gave it all that I had and I enjoyed every single step of the process and every single day. And then if you end up wherever, then that's where you're supposed to be. And if you don't end up wherever, it's not where you're supposed to be and you'll end up where you're supposed to be, if that makes sense. So instead of the long-term planning, which I think can set you up for disappointments that are unpredictable, uncontrollable, if you can stay in tune with who you are, what you're meant to be, where your happiness is, where your contentment is, where your passion and your purpose are, being the best version of yourself every day, the path will make itself known to you. Um, and maybe that's NBA, maybe that's WNBA, but it's no more valuable to be coaching on the pro level than it is on the middle school level or the 10-year-old level. Coaching is coaching and everybody's called to different levels. And I'm no more valuable than somebody who's coaching 10 year olds because I'm coaching in the pros They're If they're called to the 10 year olds, they're just as valuable. And I think that's really important that we understand maybe it's not perceived that way, but it shouldn't be, um, mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't be. Our job as a coach is to help players become the best version of themselves. They can be as both a player and a human being. And if we do that, it shouldn't matter where we're coaching, how much money we're getting paid, whether we're on TV or not, we're, we're a successful coach.